The summer evening had begun to fold the world in its mysterious embrace. Far away in the west, the sun was setting, and the last glow of all too fleeting day lingered lovingly on sea and strand, on the proud promontory of dear old Hoat, guarding as ever the waters of the bay, on the weed-grown rocks along Sandyman's shore, and last but not least, on the quiet church, whence there streamed forth at times upon the stillness the voice of prayer to her who is in her pure radiance, a beacon ever to the storm-tossed heart of man, Mary, star of the sea. Queen of angels, Queen of patriots, Queen of prophets of all saints, they pray, Queen of most holy rosary. And then Father Conroy handed the thurible to Canon O'Hanlon, and he put in the incense and sensed the blessed sacrament, and Sissy Caffrey caught the two twins, and she was itching to give them a ring and good clip on the ear, but she didn't, because she thought he might be watching her. But she never made a bigger mistake in all her life, because Gertie could see without looking up that he never took his eyes off of her. And then Canon O'Hanlon handed the Thurible back to Father Conroy and knelt down looking up at the Blessed Sacrament. And the choir began to sing Tantum Ergo, and she just swung her foot in and out in time as the music rose and fell to the Tantum of God Sacramentum. Three eleven, she paid for them stockings in Sparrows or George Street on the Tuesday. No, it was the Monday before Easter, and there wasn't a brack on them. And that was what he was looking at, transparent, and not at her insignificant ones that had neither shape nor form. The cheek of her, because he had eyes in his head to see the difference for himself. And Jackie Caffrey shouted, "Look, there was another!" And she leaned back and the garters were blue to match on account of the transparent, and they all saw it and shouted, Look, look, there it was! And she leaned back ever so far to see the fireworks, and something queer was flying about through the air, a soft thing to and fro dark, and she saw a long Roman candle going up over the trees, up, Oh, and in the tense hush, they were all breathless with excitement as they went higher and higher, and she had to lean back more and more to look up after it, high, high, almost out of sight, and her face was suffused with a divine, with an entrancing blush from straining back. She would cry, fain have cried to him chokingly, held out her snowy slender arms to him to come, to feel his lips laid on her white brow, the cry of a young girl's love, a little strangled cry wrung from her, that cry that has rung through the ages. And then a rocket sprang and bang, shot blinded. Oh, then the Roman candle burst and it was like a sigh of, oh, and then everyone cried, oh, oh, in raptures, and it gushed out of it a stream of rain gold hair threads, and they shed, and ah, they were all greeny, dewy stars, falling with golden, oh, so lively, oh, so soft, sweet.